This is the story on how I ended up on one of the most remote and unvisited islands in the entire world. So these are the Solomon Islands. I never really hear people talking about them, and I think for that reason, I've always had so much curiosity about these islands, but specifically one in particular, Utupua. It's one of the most remote islands in the entire world, and the island receives almost no outside visitors because there's no public access to this island. But I knew that there had to be a way. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronel Kalab. I stumbled upon this Solomon vlogger who introduced me to his cousin, Adrian, who lives in the capital city of the Solomons, Honiara. I quickly flew to Honiara to meet with him, and he happened to have a contact for Utupua. You know a girl who knows a guy. Who knows a guy that knows how to get to Utupua. This is the guy to know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This is John Mark, born and raised in Utupua who is now based in the town of Lata on Nendo Island. It's still quite the ways to Utupua, but it's the next necessary step to getting there. Hello. John Mark agreed to show me around his island, provided we could find a way to get there. So how long have you lived in Lata? Four years. Four years. I just come because of uh, the walk I got here. Very yeah. nice to meet you. I learned that him and his family have been waiting for the last five months to get back to their island. With my mom. Oh. There are no scheduled passenger boats back and forth and renting a boat comes at a very high price. So it's, it's very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. Quite expensive, but this is where we normally shop. Why is it so expensive? Uh, it is because of the distance from mm. Honiara to here. The markup of the goods have to compensate the freights. Are you happy in Lata? Actually, no, not really happy here at Lata. Mm. As soon as you arrive here in Lata, you have to use money. Uh, it's worth the money, you spend the money. <laughs> that becomes a frustration to me. We're going to find a way to get you back home. If that's the cheapest, then we can do it. With both our hearts set on traveling to Utupua, there was still a lot to figure out logistically. First, we had to convince someone to let us rent their boat for the duration of the trip. It's not really known as the smoothest voyage, so not everyone is willing to risk their boat. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a boat? Yeah, yeah. We have a boat now. Yeah, we're going. Next, we needed a lot of gasoline. There is nowhere to get gasoline on Utapua, so best to bring extra. Wow. And finally, we had to make sure the weather was absolutely perfect that day. Because even in perfect weather, you never really know what can happen. Be honest, is it dangerous to go? Yeah. Is it? Quite dangerous, but yes, we have to risk our lives now. Travel, right? Okay. Now. okay. <laughs> Let's do it. You guys ready? Good. see the sparkle in John Mark's eye. They were all excited to be returning home. They say it's not often like this. The sea graciously offered us calm conditions that day. After hours of traveling parallel to the coast of the main island, we arrived to the open sea. There was now nothing between us and the island of Utapua. I'd like to take some time to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this trip and making it all possible. So I've continued to see the immense value in setting aside weekly time to communicate with someone through therapy. I've continued to learn so much about how I function as a growing human being on this planet and how I can manage myself more efficiently. Whether you're somebody who might have a clinical mental health issue or maybe you're just somebody who needs someone to speak with, therapy can open up the doors for you through communication. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. Although finding the right therapist for you can be hard, BetterHelp makes this easier by matching you with a therapist in just a few days. And if your therapist isn't a match for you, you can try someone new at no additional cost. Having someone who you can regularly speak to, someone who you can learn to really communicate deeply with, it's extremely valuable. So if you're looking for someone to talk to, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click on the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash lukehorns for 10% off your first month. We eventually came upon a single light in the distance that quickly multiplied into more. This is it. 
I felt rather disoriented and unsure of what to make of these first few moments. As a foreigner to the island, before I was allowed to enter the village, I had to ask permission from the head chiefs and explain my purpose of visiting. Sit down here? Yeah. Okay. It was quite the nerve-wracking experience, but it had to be done. My name is Luke. I come from USA. I go around the world and I, I film different places. Since I was a child, I wanted to visit Solomon Islands. And it's a place that not a lot of Americans talk about. It's a place that I think people don't know about. That's my, my purpose. I didn't feel like I nailed my speech, but the chiefs granted me permission and I was allowed to stay. The next morning, I think I felt as confused as everyone else. It's always hard to know how to break the ice in these types of circumstances, but I've learned that you kind of just have to go for it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I found out that everyone was dressed up because that morning there was a religious celebration to honor the new bishop. And while the bishop was being honored that morning, I myself evidently was also being celebrated. Morning. John Mark is alive. John Mark is alive. I don't know. Maybe he's still alive or dead. Oh no. Yeah, good morning. good morning, John Mark. That first morning, John Mark showed me around his beloved village. We have uh, two uh, water taps here. See, the village is home to about 200 people. <laughs> <laughs> there is no electricity, apart from solar-powered lights, but there was plenty of betel nut. Everyone likes betel nut, and it didn't take long to convince me to try. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling. <laughs> I was quite surprised to not find any stores of any kind. In fact, I learned within the community, money really isn't used here at all. All households are free for you to eat yeah. because they are all members of the family. Yeah. We are all connected. Yeah, One community, one family. That's the beauty of our community. It's all about sharing and living among each other and share, always... Um, uh, support each other. Yep. What do you think about money? I think it's something like uh, eager or uh, want to have money to buy things or buy labor or all this. We use our ability, our resource. We just do it freely for the good of mankind, you know, the poor. The next day, we traveled to a nearby village, and of course, I was in for quite the warm welcome. <laughs> Utapua has five villages, and I had the chance to visit all of them. Love and kindness being a shared trait between all the people of the island, Yet, I kept hearing something. Many of the people I spoke to referred to their island as the Forgotten Island. I didn't know what they meant by this. Why did they feel so forgotten? This is Utupua. Where's the label? All these islands have labels, but Utupua. They do not uh, put a label. Maybe it's uh, forgotten, so they don't want but maybe nothing good out of the board, that is why they do, they do not put the label or name there. But indeed, it's a very interesting area. I'm sailing!
I've heard people referring to Utapu as the Forgotten Island. <laughs> yeah. It's that we are being neglected by the government for some basic services. Mm -hmm. Like we need more proper schools. This is the island's secondary school. Students must live here full time. Alongside many ongoing issues with the educational system, the school is severely understaffed. We should have 15 staff, but for now we have only four. This is the island's health facility. It's almost completely out of supplies. At the moment it's out of stock. Mm -hmm. The Utupu is the forgotten island in many ways. In government services, Utupu always uh, left yep. our Not much help us. They don't help? Yeah. No medicine. No transport. No like transport. The ship might be hard for us because only clinic at Nebao headquarters. Yes. Utapua has demonstrated self-sufficiency for centuries. There are multiple areas in which government support is desperately needed, and the government simply is not providing, and its people have been left feeling forgotten. But there is one person in particular whose aim is to communicate directly to the government to start making changes. And that person? Well, it's John Mark. Wow. Elections on the island are coming up, and John Mark is running for the position of the island's chief of communication. One candidate him lead finish, not two fellow candidates for you. The system is there, but sometimes some of the system is not addressing our issues. Yeah. That's what I'm working on it, with a small idea I got. And <laughs> I have to look after the people of Utapua. I'm the voice of the people. This, this is where I will stay, and forever I will love Utapua. Yes. Yeah, you said the other day that you think that you found the meaning of life. Yeah. A life of sharing, of simplicity, and joy, and happiness. The meaning of life is sense of unity. People walking together, living together in peace, living with nature and the environment. We eat with our hands, we swim in the sea, looking after each other. The meaning of life is all about sharing, sharing what you have with the most needy people in the village and with the family members and with everyone. family. It's beautiful, man. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs>